Question 20. Circle the fraction that is greater than a half, but less than three quarters. Well, I've written a little sentence up here to try and help us. If a fraction is going to be greater than the half, then the numerator must be greater than half of whatever the denominator is. For example, if I'm talking about 8, then half of 8 is 4. So 4 eighths is a half. So anything bigger than 4 eighths is going to be bigger than a half. So 5 eighths, 6 eighths, 7 eighths, they are all bigger than a half. Anything less than 4, in terms of 8, would be smaller than a half. So we could have 3 8, 2 8, 1 8. They would all be smaller than a half. So that's what we're looking for. So can we eliminate any straight away? Well, 7 is obviously bigger than half of 8. So that one's got to stay. Let's look at this one. Half of 5 is 2.5. And 2 is less than 2.5. So it's less than half. So that one can be eliminated. Half of 3 is 1.5. And 1 is less than that. So that one can be eliminated. Half of 8 is 4. And 5 is bigger than that. So that one can't be eliminated. Half of 6 is 3. And this is 3. So if it is 3 sixths, it is exactly a half. But the question says greater than a half. If it's exactly a half, it can't also be greater than a half. So 3 6 is also eliminated. So actually we've only got 2 left. So we've dealt with the clue that says greater than a half. Now we need to deal with a second clue. It's going to be less than three quarters. Now a little bit of knowledge here about equivalent fractions will help us. So if I'm talking about three quarters, to get an equivalent fraction, if I double both of those, I will get six eighths. Okay, so three quarters is equivalent to six eighths. Now I've only got seven eighths and five eighths to choose from. And the one that I need to circle has to be less than three quarters. So it's got to be less than six eighths. So which of these two is less than six eighths? Well, seven eighths can't be that because seven's bigger than six. So seven eighths is bigger than six eighths. So that one's got to go. So the only one that's less than six eighths is five eighths. And that's the only one left. So that is the one that we need to circle. So the answer is 5 eighths.